Sergeant Hines? Sergeant Hines? Yeah, Major. The dream is at hand. Sound Reveille. Hey, soldier boy. Kingsley. Reveille. We here? We've arrived. Virginia City. Ripe and ready. You did it, sir. That's right, Major. You got us here just like you said you would. Now, me and Soldier Boy here, we're gonna do our job. Ain't we, Soldier Boy? Fine. Now you know every detail of the operation. The hotel you're staying at, the man you're to see. And, uh, Sergeant, for the insurance of our success, stay away from Mr. Barleycorn. How do you mean, Major? Booze, Sergeant, booze. Stay away from it. Everything will go like clockwork, sir. I'll see to it. Hey, you just do that, Soldier Boy. Hey, Major, this Ponderosa you're going to, you sure you can trust them Cartwrights? That's the most painful part of all. They trust me. Oh! Sheep herd has direct me to the Ponderosa Ranch Estate. <laughs> Come on out there, you old goat. I can get a good look at you. Give me a. <laughs> Bye. Golly, it's good to see. It's been a long time. Seems a century, man. Yeah. I want you to meet my son, Hoss. Hoss, this is Major John F. Cayley, one of my oldest and probably wildest friends. <laughs> How are you, sir? How are you, Hoss? Yeah, and this is the closest you'll ever get to a human bird in your lifetime, Hoss. <laughs> he fly? Does he fly? By golly, he's probably got a pair of wings stowed in that, in that wagon right now. Better than wings, Benjamin. Has the site been selected for my experiment? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I picked out a, a clearing for, uh, as you requested. Now, what kind of experiments is the Army having out here, anyway? All in good time, Ben. All in good time. By golly. Come on, I want you to meet my two other boys. Hines, get up. Hines? What do you want, soldier boy? Hines, this is the bank. Get it? Now, don't make a mistake. That's real consider to you, soldier boy. <laughs> that ain't bad drawing, boy. Not bad at all. <laughs> hey, you know, when I get to be rich and famous, maybe I'll let you paint a picture of me. <laughs> Just keep sober long enough for us to carry out the Major's plan. Oh, 
<laughs> now, old John, the major here, he just stood on this high bluff, oh, like a young Atlas, with this pair of homemade wings strapped to his shoulders, waiting for a strong wind to come along. Well, what happened, boy? Well, he just stood there waiting, and he waited, and he waited, and he waited. What, about two hours, John? That's right. Yeah. Just stood there waiting, and then suddenly... That strong wind come along and just blew him right off the bluff. <laughs> Did he fly? <laughs> Did he fly? <laughs> Broke both legs. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that was your last flight, huh? Oh, no. That only served to wet my enthusiasm. Boys, I'm convinced that someday we'll be up there. We'll be up there. We'll have an access to the skies that even the birds and the angels will envy. John, how's that beautiful little girl of yours? Although I guess by now she must be a beautiful big girl and married, eh? Diana. No, she's back east, Ben, in the family home. Now, why in thunderation didn't you bring her along with you? Oh, Ben, the fact is my daughter and I have been poles apart. My head's been in the clouds, and she, like her mother, God rest her soul, has had both feet firmly planted on the ground. Well, John, it's, it's awfully good to see you. Even though you did have to push that team of yours halfway across the continent by yourself. I have a couple of army men with me. I sent them on ahead to the hotel in Virginia City. Now, why did you do that? They should be right here in the Ponderosa with you. Oh, I wouldn't think of it. I couldn't impose, Ben. Impose? <laughs> Adam, you're going into town this morning, aren't you? Now, he could, he could bring them back. No, here. I think it would be better, Ben, if they... Nonsense. It's all taken care of. There. John, whatever this wild scheme of yours is... We'll help you. Oh, thank you, Ben. Thank now, let's you. Let's have some more coffee. I'd sort of like to see what that experiment's all about myself, wouldn't you, Joe? Yeah, well, it has to do with jumping off a cliff and trying to fly. I better get Doc Martin right away. <laughs> I'm Private Kingsley, sir. Yes, Private. I have some official army papers here from Major John Cayley, who's staying at the Ponderosa. He'd like them deposited in your safe for a few days. Oh, yes. Ben mentioned that the army was planning doing some work out here. That's right, sir. I'll be glad to keep them for you. I'll be back for those papers in a day or two. That'll be fine. Come on in. You want something, mister? I'm Adam Cartwright from the Ponderosa. So? Uh, Major Cayley's already out at the ranch, and uh, well, we'd like to have you and your friend come out there and stay. Well, that's real nice of you, mister. But our orders are to stay right here in town. And the Major mentioned that. But it really isn't necessary. We have plenty of room. Mister, I've been in this army a long time. The Major gave me an order to stay right here. I'll leave when the Major orders me to leave. Sergeant, I was supposed to see the Major this afternoon anyway. Good to have you show me the way, sir. I'll find out from the Major what he wants us to do, Sergeant. Yeah, you just do that, soldier boy. In the meantime, I'm going to find out what the inside of a Virginia City saloon looks like. Don't mind the sergeant, sir. He's old line army. Hasn't got much imagination. I don't believe we've met formal. I'm Private Kingsley. Adam Cartwright. Can I help you with anything? No, I don't believe so. It's nice artwork. Very professional. You do it? Yes, it's one of my hobbies. The army uh, takes such use of your artistic talents, Private? I've done some drawing for Major Cayley. Artwork? Wagons full of equipment, experiments. Just what is the army doing at the Ponderosa? The Major didn't tell you? No, I came here just as they were heading for the uh, testing site. That's just like the Major. Probably wanted you all to see it before he said anything. See what? He's going into the sky, Mr. Cartwright. Right up into the sky.
right, grab the ropes. Haul it down. That's it, Ben. That's fine. Hold it steady. Good boy, little Joe. Stay with it. Hang on to it, Huss. Put your weight behind it. That is, don't let go now. Hold it steady. That's it. That's fine. Hold it steady. Good boy. Stay with it. Hang on to it, Huss. Put your weight behind it. That is, don't let go now. Hold it steady. That's it. That's it, Ben. Hold fast now, boys. Just about got it. All right, you let go. We'll let the winch do the work. Hey, Johnny! Never seen anything like this before. It's fantastic. <laughs> hey, pa, Sh shouldn't shouldn't horse let go of that thing? Horse, let loose. Oh, the don't go! Horse! Boys! Boys, come on down here! <laughs> Johnny! That's how you feel, Hoss. That boy is a born balloonist. Yeah. Boy, it's just like a big bird. You gotta try it. Sure, just like a big bird. You gotta try it. Well, this flying may be all right for little youngsters like you, Johnny, but... You'll change your mind, Ben, once you've tried it. I don't know. I tried it. I'm not gonna change my mind. Joe, you're too young to be that old. Ain't you got no, no adventure in your soul? Oh, sure, I got adventure in my soul. It's my body I'm worried about. Don't you worry, Hoss. Don't worry. We'll show them. Tomorrow, we're really gonna fly. Hot dogs. Oh, Johnny, I think we ought to have one of the boys guard this contraption overnight. No, it's perfectly safe, Ben. No wind. Well, I wasn't thinking about the wind. I was thinking about the neighbors. You know, they come along and see a contraption like this, think of some kind of sky demon or something, start emptying their guns into it. Now, one of you boys stay. I'll stay, Paul. On second thought, I think we'll feel safe if little Joe stays here. Yeah, don't worry, Austin. It'll be safe. I'm 11, not a flyer. This, Ben, is my dream. Wow. Look at the size of that balloon, Paul. 400,000 cubic feet of hydrogen gas. What? You have to build them big if they're going to carry passengers across the ocean. Across the ocean? Yeah, that ocean's mighty wide. Look, I, I, I don't want to sound naive, but what would you do if something happened to the balloon? These two auxiliary balloons set us down on the water light as a feather. Then what, swim? Float, boy, float. 
Yeah. Well, George, it does look sort of like a boat, don't it, Paul? It is a boat. And these. Two collapsible masts. Now, if anything should happen to the queen and she's forced down, all you do is pull these out and slip on the sails. Look at the inside of that thing, Paul. It's as plushy as a Virginia City hotel. Yeah, it sure is. John? I... Is this practical? What dream was ever practical, Ben? When you dreamed of building the Ponderosa, was it practical? But you achieved it because you believed in it. Ponderosa's different, John. Anyway, I had my sons to help me build that, and, and Providence. Providence hasn't smiled on me. The winds are rising, and the years hang heavy on my shoulders. Oh, what are you talking about? You, you're a major in the United States Army. You have the respect of a fine circle of friends. I'm a pioneer, Ben. I'm standing on the fringe of a new frontier without limits. Can't you see it? Skyways around the world. Continents are just waiting to be linked by airships. Airships? And the, the Army is backing you in this idea. Well... Not exactly. They were intrigued enough with my designs, but I'm afraid they found them too visionary. Well, John, I, I'm sure you know what you're doing. I know what you're thinking, Ben. A lot of other people are skeptical. Even my own daughter thinks I'm a silly old fool. Oh, John, I'm sure that isn't so. Oh, it's true. It's true. She never could summon up one ounce of faith in my dream, my, my plans. Well, I'm going to go check on little Joe and that, that balloon. See you in a minute. John? John, I... No, I'm... I, I'm not doubting you. But how are you going to do all this? I'll build the Atlantic Queen, Ben. I promise you that nothing will stand in my way. Well, but you, you said yourself the army isn't backing you. Where are you going to get all the money? For... I'll get the money. My backers have already been selected. Man will fly, Ben, no matter what the cost. Man will fly. Better get going. Bill! Bill Kingsley! Uh, Diana, I, I didn't recognize you. What are you doing here in Virginia City? Where's my father? He isn't going to like it when he finds you here. Where is he? Uh, Private Kingsley, why don't you uh, introduce me to the young lady? Hmm? I'm sorry. This is Diana Cayley, the Major's daughter. Diana, this is Adam Cartwright. How do you do? Cartwright? That's where my father is, the Ponderosa. You're Ben Cartwright's son, aren't you? Please take me to my father. I must see him. Uh, Private Kingsley, why don't you uh, get Miss Cayley's luggage? Uh, you and Private Kingsley uh, know each other, I take it? We knew each other. It's all over now. Can you get the feeling this is going to be a long, cold ride?
Private Kingsley, sir. Here to see Major Cayley. Oh, yes, of course. Ben Cartwright, Private. I'm very glad to have you here. The uh, Major's inside. Won't you go in? Hello, uh, Adam. Uh, I'm Diana. Oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm Ben Cartwright. How do you do, Mr. Cartwright? Diana? Diana Cayley. Diana Cayley? Well, your father said you were back east. Does he know you're here? Well, not yet. I thought I'd surprise him. Well, he'll be surprised. How did she find out where we were? As I said, sir, I don't know. Everything in town is ready. Good. Don't you think her being here might complicate things? Don't worry, son. I can handle her. I'm glad somebody can. Johnny! Johnny, you old W were keeping her as a surprise, weren't you? I'm afraid that Father is just as surprised to see me as you are, Mr. Cartwright. Of course, I'm delighted to see you, Diana, but... And now, Father, it's quite simple. I was dusting your study, and on your desk I found your letter from Mr. Cartwright, welcoming you to the Ponderosa. So, I decided that since I'd never been west, this was the perfect opportunity. And here I am. I hope it's all right. Oh, well, you can bet your boots it's all right. I'm very happy that you're here. And I'm sure my sons are happy you're here, too. <laughs> uh, Major, if you don't mind, I'd like to go on out to the balloon site, make sure everything's in good working order. You have my permission. Well, uh, Robert Kingsley, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the way. Would you like to come along, Diana? Oh, goodness, no. I think I've seen enough of Father's old balloons. 
I think I'll just stay here and freshen up a bit. Well, of course. Now, uh, you just make yourself right at home. The Ponderosa is yours. Come along, Private. All right, Father. Why did you come here? You read the letter? Ben Cartwright, my friend, offered me a piece of land upon which to conduct my experiment. I also read some letters from the Adjutant General's office. I didn't know they'd miss me so soon. What did you expect, Father? You're in the United States Army. You can't just go wandering off whenever you feel like it. They told me to select a site. Yes, in Pennsylvania, but not 2,000 miles away in, in Nevada. I am in command of that balloon, and I will select the site. The Army was willing enough to utilize my experience in developing observation balloons. But when I presented my real plan to the top generals, the nearsighted fools couldn't turn it down quick enough. Father, we've been over all this before. What does this have to do with your being here now? They want to know where you are. Don't you understand that? They'll find out soon enough. Don't you understand? Nobody wants your plans. They are impractical. The winds are rising, my daughter, and I must move skyward. Just once, will you try to listen to me, please? Your Atlantic Queen is never going to be built. Never. Now, please, please accept that fact. I can't accept it. I will never accept it. My airships will fill the sky over every ocean, over every city of every land. Man will find his destiny through the air. And my Atlantic queen will lead the way. Private Kingsley. Good evening, sir. How did you find things at the balloon site? Everything's ready, sir. Good. Now, you have your orders. You'll be able to withdraw the papers from the bank in the morning. Yes, sir. Now, what about Sergeant Hines? Is he ready? Don't worry, sir. He'll be at the bank in the morning as scheduled. And you, are you ready? I'm more than ready, sir. You know that. Oh, good. I think we'd better be at the balloon site to crack it on. We'll fill the balloon to capacity. That'll give you time enough to get to Virginia City and get your job done there. Yes, sir. I think we'd both better turn in early, Bill. Tomorrow's going to be a most momentous day. I'm afraid I'm too excited for sleeping now, sir. I thought I'd take a little walk first. Maybe a long time before I have my feet on the ground again. I understand. Good night, sir. Good night, Bill. talk to you. Bill, I... Diana. so lost without you. No one to turn to. Father acting so strangely. Major Kelly will be all right, Diana. You shouldn't worry. But I do worry. Why is Father here without the Army's consent? Whatever gave you that idea? Letters from the army, asking his whereabouts. Well, that's easily explainable. 
It's just that the experiment is a secret. It's a matter of utmost importance. Naturally, the army wants to cover it. And how long will it remain secret? Until tomorrow. Tomorrow, you'll tell me? Tomorrow, you'll know. The gondolas, real plush in it, shaped a whole lot like, like a ship. Anyhow, up above it, he's got this one great big balloon, and then he's got two little ones on either side in case a big one pops. He's gonna call it the Atlantic Queen. Ah, oh, sounds pretty elaborate. I'd like to see those drawings. Well, Pod Hoss already signed up for the first trip across the ocean. <laughs> yeah, that'll be pretty exciting. I wonder if he'll ever get a chance to build it. Oh, if I know John Cayley, he'll build it. Come on, let's go out to the site and give him a hand. Pa, Pa. Yeah, there's one thing I don't understand. What knowledge can the Major gain by taking the balloon up here that he couldn't have learned back east? Gee, I don't know. I never thought of that. Maybe the winds are better. I'm no balloonist. <laughs> come on, are you coming? No, I'll come out later with Diane after she comes down. All right, come on, boys. Yeah, from what I've seen of Diane, I wouldn't mind switching jobs with you. Yeah, me too. She's cute in a bug, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she is. Out, both of you. Oh, wait a minute. How come the older members of the family get all the privileges? Yeah, how come? Well, precisely because we are older. And wiser. Yeah, so, uh... Let's go. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Where is everyone? They all went out to the balloon site. Uh, have some breakfast? Oh, no, thank you. Just some coffee. All right, sit down. I'll get it for you. Well, I hear they're going to fly the balloon today. Yes, Bill Kingsley told me. What else did he tell you? I don't know what you mean. Diana, what's your father really doing here? Apparently, he's on some secret mission for the army. What kind of secret mission? He couldn't say. You know that what they're doing here is wrong. But the army hasn't given its approval at all. I may not agree with my father, but I know he'd never be part of anything that was wrong. Are you sure? I'm sure. You know where Bill Kingsley is? He's at the test site with father, helping him get ready for the flight. No, he's not. He borrowed a horse this morning to ride into Virginia City to pick up some important papers from the bank. At the bank? Today's Sunday. The banks are closed. I know. Adam, what do you think's going on? Well, that's why I'm going into Virginia City. To find out. Mr. Herschel. Private Kingsley, isn't it? Yes, sir. I'm sorry to bother you this morning, sir, but I've been ordered by Major Cayley to pick up those papers I left at your bank the other morning. Well, I think it can wait until tomorrow, Private. This is Sunday. I'm on my way to church. Well, I'm very sorry, sir. Orders. Uh, Sergeant Hines is waiting at the bank for us now. Those papers must be mighty important. They are, sir. Believe me, they are. Very well, Private. We'll get them. Sergeant Hines. How do you do, sir? How do, Sergeant? What's the meaning of this, Sergeant? Fill it. Well, you... You'll never get away with it. Hurry it up!
Boat full, Major. She's taking it to ropes. More ballast, little Joe. Right. That ought to do it. Thirty thousand cubic feet of hydrogen gas, gentlemen. I don't want to take you clean around the world, Major. It might just do that, Haas. Listen, if them soldiers don't show up, you reckon you can make room for me? <laughs> hey, Major, where are those men? They ought to be here any minute now. How's it look at the bank? Not a stir. <laughs> Quiet as an empty bank safe. Now remember, let's walk out of here slowly. And then we'll get the horses and we'll ride out slowly. We haven't got a thing to worry about. Money's concealed. We'll just be a couple of soldiers going out to the Ponderosa. Let's go. I'm going, soldier boy. But you're staying right here. Heinz put that away. Soldier boy, I'm getting. Mighty tired of taking orders from a runny-nosed private. Now, you hand over that saddlebag. I'm taking this money to the Major. You ain't taking nothing, soldier boy. But I am. The Major's whole life is in this saddlebag. And I'll die before I'll see you put your filthy hands on it. Sweet dreams, soldier boy. What's holding everybody up? Adam and Diane should be here. Ah, don't worry, Pi. That'll be along. They wouldn't miss this for anything. <laughs> Get the sheriff! Oh, they took the money! Come on, What's man? all the excitement, Mr. Herschel? The bank's been robbed. Somebody get the sheriff. Well, do you know who did it? Of course I know. It was those two soldiers. They got me to open that safe on some pretense about army, uh, army papers. Yeah. Somebody get the sheriff. Bill. You gotta stop Hines. Where's the money? Hines got it. Gotta stop him. Why? Why did you do it? It was to build the Atlantic Queen. The Major staked everything on getting this money. You gotta get me to him before he takes that flight. Please, before Hines gets to him. Now, let's get started before the Sheriff gets here. Sergeant Hines reporting, sir. I have the documents. Where is young Kingsley? Can I speak to you uh, alone a minute, sir? Excuse me a minute, Ben. Major, we can leave here right now. Where is Private Kingsley? He ain't coming. What do you mean, not coming? He caught a bullet, sir. He's dead. Dead? Well, Major, we ain't got time to worry about him. We gotta leave while the leaving's good. How? Oh, what happened? What went wrong? It was planned. It was all carefully planned. Sure I got enough money here to build that balloon of yours. Now let's get in that basket and get out of here. Anything wrong, John? We're going up, Ben. Well, what about Private Kingsley? He won't be making this voyage. Give us a hand with the basket. Boys, mind releasing those secondary ropes? It was all so carefully planned. Release those ropes. Johnny, you ready? Yes, Ben, it's time. Release the ropes.
that winch rope. using it. His men just robbed the bank. What? The balloon's just a scheme to get away with the money. Kingsley, what happened at that bank? Seems the sergeant had a dream of his own. It'll make no difference now, Major. All right, Cartwright, cut that rope. Don't do it, men! Don't do it! <laughs> to borrow the money just until the Atlantic Queen could be built. I was going to pay it back, every cent, with interest. You'll be all right, sir. We'll take care of you. No, Bill. It's the end of me. And, and the dream. Oh, nonsense, Johnny. You'll be right as rain as soon as Doc Martin gets out here to have a look at you. The wind is rising, Ben. I mustn't fail. I must... Ride the wind. Hey, look, Paul. Bon voyage, Johnny.